Good day, my people. Good day, all. Good day to everyone that will come across this video. <clears throat> um, today, I would like to discuss a little bit about um, about Berlin Conference because this is Miro African Television. I will welcome you to Miro African TV. So, as an African Television, I believe it is my right and duty to discuss the affairs of Africa as a whole. Let me set up this so yeah god so um i would like us to discuss more on the issue of berlin conference because um african country at the age of 2019 at uh, this year 2019 we are still struggling to survive um another thing that motivated me to open this program today on african affairs is about the issues going on in south africa in South Africa, um, South African people are killing Nigerians in high numbers. Um, I don't know what really motivated the black South African country to start going after their black African brothers. I don't really know what um, gave them the impetus to um, waste the life of their fellow African people. Um, there, there, there is one, one South African woman, she normally tell the story of um, Berlin Conference. She said that two women, a husband and a wife, went to bed after Berlin Conference. They woke up the next day. The man find himself in Lositu and the wife find herself in Gambia. And the issue of that Berlin Conference must be ratified or else Africa will kill themselves. Africa will kill themselves without knowing that they are one people. They are one blood. You know, during almost 700 years ago, the white people have been hustling to conquer African continent. Over 700 years. Go and read the history. You will find it there. So they have been fighting each other to the extent the, the the first world war that could have happened in African continent. That's the 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 the, the world powers, the white people could have <laughs> could have gone against each other in African continent, all because of the wealth of the African people. Good and fine, but that during that time the German politician that see what is happening, that if they don't control these affairs now, it may run out of hand, that they will start killing each other in Africa. And that could have been the best thing that could happen to them. By that time in Congo, King Leopold, most of you don't know this, na this name, King Leopold II, King Leopold II is the first person that, that massacred over 15 million African people. Did you, did you hear me? He is the first person that committed atrocity on mankind ever. The first people that did it were Belgium people on African. The Belgian king, they call him King Leopold, killed over 15 million African people. And they were fighting each other also, destroying themselves until Berlin called a meeting. All the whole, colonize, all the whole countries that are trying to colonize Africa should unite against the continent. By that time, Africa has a common language. They understand each other. I'm telling this story today. I just want to remind the black African country, countries, mostly the South African side. I just want to remind them what happened. And this King Leopard that killed over 15 million people started from Congo up to South Africa. Yes. And France nearly wiped out up to six, seven million black African people. British did the same. 
the Germans also caused their own massacre in their own territory where they occupied in Africa. Africa have lost a lot in the hands of in the hands of white people. And today, Africans are raising hand against each other. Why? Because they don't know that they are killing their fellow brother. Because after Berlin Conference, the people that are fighting to colonize Africa now develop one cause, one principle, one policy. The best way to conquer Africa is to divide Africa. They started dividing Africa. Gambia appeared. Loseto appeared. South Africa appeared. Zimbabwe appeared. Cameroon appeared. And in all these countries that they are dividing and creating, if you go to Gambia, they speak, I think, English. If you go to um, 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 Togo, they speak French. If you go to Ghana, the nearby country, they speak English. If you go to Sierra Leone, they speak English and Pidgin. If you come to Nigeria, they speak English. The Ni neighbors of Nigeria are speaking French. The closest neighbor to Nigeria are speaking Portuguese. Just like that. Imagine they divided us and destroyed our culture, destroyed our identity, destroyed ourselves, destroyed who we are. And today, we are not fighting to be, to be free. We are not fighting to liberate ourselves. We haven't fought to restore the dignity of black kind. We haven't worked together as black people to see ourselves as one. We are being hated all over the world. Upon that, we hate ourselves. We didn't hate ourselves, I know that. But we hate ourselves because they say whenever border is being created, enmity, hatred, we generate from that border and consume the both side. That's why it's very, very wrong to create borders. Now the white people has came to Africa. They dismantled Africa to something else, destroy us to whatever they may call themselves or whatever they like. And in their own side, they are uniting. In their own side, they are dismantling borders. In their own side, they are working as one body. In their own side, they are identifying themselves with each other. Africa, when are we going to unite? Africa, when are we going to start to love one another? To appreciate ourselves, to see ourselves as, as, as the armor as God on planet, because our, our continent is where power, where energy do fly out. That's why the energy, the power, the source that mm -hmm. exists in Africa is not, it's not by mistake. We are special people. It's only in Africa where somebody can enter inside bush, inside forest, pick leaves and heal somebody without any chemical. It's in Africa that you will see somebody feeling stomach pain and somebody will touch that stomach. The energy in your hand will penetrate that stomach and heal that person. It's only happening in Africa. It has never happened outside that continent. God bless Africa with every resources because you are made God on planet. You are the God of this planet. And I know it's because of your love and kindness that made you to open your door for your enemies. It's because of your passion, love on humankind that allow the enemies to subdue you and conquer you. But let me tell you today, don't lose hope. Africa, don't lose hope. Because you have suffered enough and you have learned from your mistakes. They have brought in their religion that they never ever respected. America will tell you, in God we trust, but they will subdue you to steal your property. Where is that God they gave to you? 
The only God that is active is the God of our ancestors. The God that knows when somebody goes contrary to the law. The God that put peace in those areas. That is the God of our forefathers. We should love one another. We should walk as one. We should see ourselves as one people born by one father and one mother. Is Af do, do any African man, are we white? Real black Africans, no matter whatever you apply to yourself, you remain the same. It is your own culture, your own, your, your culture, your color, everything about you that dominates this planet. You are in position to deliver a white man. You are in position to deliver Abino. You are in position to deliver a red person. You are in position to deliver yourself. But a white person, no matter what, can never give birth to something from white to red. We are the creator of these people. We are their makers. That's why the resources lies on our territory. I do weep and cry when I see my people in South Africa killing their fellow black people. Why? I can remember when I was still small, I do cry. Why I'm watching the video of the colonial apartheid government in South Africa running after three years child and aiming their bullet and shooting them to death. I started crying. I hated Holland. I don't go to Holland today because of what happened in South Africa. All those people that tamper you, that did you harm, still touches my body today. I have never been to South Africa before. But I know that South Africa is not far from me because I am South Africa and you are South Africa. I am you and you, you are I. We are one person, one body. The same gene, the same people. As your herbalists, we heal people. So my own herbalists in my village, we heal people. You never do anything different. As you dance your warrior dance, my people dance their own warrior dance. White people never dance warrior dance. They don't have it. Indians don't have it. It is only we, the black African people. My fellow black African brothers, stop killing your fellow brothers. No matter what happened, love your brother. Forgive your brother. Love him. See him as yourself. Don't do harm to yourself. The more you kill your brother, you are killing yourself. It's the more you are, you are reducing the power in you. Do you know that the gods of our forefathers made us to understand that shall not pour away any blood of your brother? It is in our constitution, spiritual constitution, guiding the whole African continent. That's why the white people penetrated and conquered us. Because we never, we did it. You can never read nor see in any history that after this King Leopold killed over, over 15 million black African people, this Belgium king, African people didn't even remove his hair. Upon, it is African man that is cooking his food. Upon, that is African man that is sweeping his bedroom. They can use snake poison to poison everything in that room. Did they do it? It is not in our gene to pour blood. It is not in our gene to kill people. All these things you are, you, are, you are taking today, you are welcoming, you are seeing yourself as a strong man. It's an imported, imported culture. It has never been our culture. African people doesn't know what is what is security before. <clears throat> Africans don't know what is um, 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 guns. We have we, we have spared and and and, and, and other other um, weapons that we used to hunt. We never use it on our people. We never kill human being. We live on nature. We and nature are the same. And as far as we fail to respect nature, we will still remain under. Because you must respect nature. We are nature. We are the people that everything that happens to you, when you call the gods of your ancestors, they will heal you. If you go around, what, 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 whatever we have in Africa is medicine. 
In South Africans, let me ask you, what do you call leave, in green leave, in your own territory? In, with your mother tongue, we call it Akukwondo, leave of life. I believe in South Africa. You call it leave of life. It wasn't an imported language. It is our language. It's our culture. Stop killing yourself. Stop destroying yourself. Not because the white people are showing the more you see, the less you see. The more you look, the less you see. They promise us heaven. They made our forefathers to believe they are living near God. Are we not? I'm not in German. What our people are facing is what I'm facing. If I don't walk, I don't eat. If I don't struggle, nothing comes into my pot. But in Africa, before, before, if you are cooking, after cooking, you will ask your neighbor, do you have enough? Have your children eaten and belly food? If not, I have enough. It is we that doesn't know how to throw away food. Before you, before you throw it away, you must look for people that will consume it. But white people in German, they pass law. If they dare catch you in their dustbin, what did I say? If Germans catch you in their dustbin, searching for food, throw away food, you will go to prison. We doesn't have that hatred. That hatred never existed in us because we are special people. We are so precious. God bless us. Have you ever go hunger? Go hunger that God will allow you to suffer for two fucking days that you will not see something to eat. You may be going dry without seeing cash, but what you will eat must surely appear from no way or the other because he's always there for us. Have we seek his face? Have we sought if he's still there? No, we are still chasing the white man film, the white man color, the white man Hollywood that never matured. While our own have been maturing since decades. Since you have been killing Nigerians in your country, what happened? Who called them Nigerians? Are we Nigerians? Am I a Nigerian? No. I'm not a Nigerian. I'm an indigenous man. I'm an indigenous man. I will call myself, I'm an Igbo man, indigenous. Nigeria is a word that was generated from nigger. Yes, they call Nigeria, they call Niger, they call Chad, they call all sorts of rubbish names. And we uphold those names and hold it and protect it for them. That gives you the right to raise hand to waste the blood of your brother. Oh, Africa, who do these things to you? Why killing your people? The people that raise their hand and destroy you, the people that enslave you, the people that destroy your history, culture, everything that made you a human. You dare not raise your hand against them. But you will waste the blood of an innocent man that leave his territory and visit your own side because maybe things are a little bit better. And that's how it works before. Because my father do tell me that when they were see small, they will do their farm and they will carry their goods to Ghana to sell in that African big market there. They will carry their goods and move to other Africa. They don't have borders. Nobody asks them for Kaseju. Nobody asks them of passport. Nobody asks them of identity. We have identity. This is my identity. This is my identity. Here I am. Here I am. With this, you know where I belong. Why killing your fellow brothers? Ask your neighbor, why killing your fellow brothers? Why killing yourself? You think your brother is only the ones that are being delivered by your mother and your father? Ask yourself, how come about your mother and your father? Are, were they delivered by one woman? Are they from the same mother and the same father? That's how we originated, my people. That's how we originated. We all are one. Stop this rubbish killing Africa. Stop stepping your toes on your brothers. Stop arresting your brothers and asking him, asking him 
his documents in his own continent. Why those people, French people that brought Kaseju, British that teach Nigeria resident permit and passport in their own country today, I'm holding one. With one, as a German, I can travel all over Europe without one single disturbance. But I know if I just step down from Africa, from plane in Africa, as my leg touches ground, I know that I have identity. I know I am home. I know, as the Bible says, God says, um, I am that I am. I know in Africa that I am the Africa. I am the Africa, and Africa is me. It's not, I am a Cameroonian, I am a Gabonese, I am a South African. I am an African. Every German that sees me on the street, they say, hey, Africa. They don't say, hey, Nigeria. They don't say, hey, Cameroon. They don't say, hey, South Africa. They don't say, hey, whatever. If Ebola break out in Congo, they say, Africa are suffering with, on Ebola. Ebola are wiping Africa out because they know that you people are one. If good thing comes out of Africa, they say Africa is growing. But in Africa, we start dividing. The white man called me this. I am that. You are this and you are that. Are you different from me? If two of us sleep as man and woman, a man, a woman from South Africa, I from Nigeria, if we deliver, if I give you belly, if you get pregnant, are you going to give birth to a white man, to a German, to an Asian, to an Indian, to a Russian? No. You, you will give birth to I am that I am. The African man that has no, no mixture, nothing to compare, nothing to dilute. Our gene has, ne has no other gene in it. Black African gene has no mixture. If you're a doctor, prove what I'm saying. White people gene has to black and white in their body. Red Indians has to. Asians have two. Black African people in Australia has one. Black African people in, in Palestine has one. Black African people in Saudi Arabia has one. Why the Saudi themselves has two? Sudan has one. While Egypt has two. We are the original. We are the indigenous people the makers of the planet why killing yourself why are you not proud as i am proud as an african as i am proud today whatever that i put on white man get envy why killing your brother celebrate with your brother and allow those people that killed you to cry and said oh after killing these people they let her come together and show love to one another. That when you start killing, they will say the seed we planted is still at work, is still growing. A day shall come, they will stand up and wipe themselves, and we will step in and turn it to whatever we like. Why killing yourself, Africa? Oh, Mama Africa, why all this? Show love and passion. Be yourself. Don't live a copy life. Be yourself. Love one another. Here is love. Here. This is love. The symbol of love is me. I am, when you hear love, I am love. I am love. Because after the king of Belgium wiped out that 15 million, my people did not raise hand to peel his hair, to show him we are not made to destroy what we created. But it is what we create that try to wipe us out. Because they are envy of you. Do you know how old I am? Do you know how old I am? 
Can you just gaze how old I am? My mate in the white man world are moving with stock, with stick. My mates in white man world, most of them, you can't even manage them. But when they see me, their children, grandchildren, think that I'm, I'm their mate. And I will tell them, maybe I see you your father. That is me. Original. Undiluted. God made. That's why they hate you. That's why they hate you. That's why they created this government in Libya. And sponsored them to turn everybody to slave in Libya. Do you know that they are harvesting the organs of your brothers and sisters in Libya? Do you know that? They don't know whether you come from South Africa. They don't know whether you come from Kenya. <clears throat> you know, they don't know whether you come from Cameroon, Nigeria. They are no, what they know is black African. Give me the liver, give me the, the lungs, I need the kidney, I need the vein, I need the tongue, I need the eyes. I need every part of their organ. Because with that organ, Queen Elizabeth may, may live up to 200 years. <clears throat> Take it or you leave it. With our blood, things happen. That's why. Stop donating. Because you are precious. Stop participating in this my mind of a thing. They are harvesting Africa. They bring AIDS into South Africa to destroy you. And that AIDS cross border into their own country. Upon that, your blood even resists the AIDS. Do you know that? Do you know that it's not all Africans that tramp on top of AIDS person that capture that AIDS? But it never happened to white people. But the day shall come. God will rescue you. I mean the gods of our forefathers. Not the God of white man. Please don't put me wrong. Because I read today in Kenya, a pastor in Kenya is telling their members <clears throat> not to come to church with bra. The women should no longer come to church with bra and pint. Are they not copying the white people? The same people that bring homosexualism. Imagine. They first of all came to us. They want to steal our property. They gave us Bible. They tell us, the Bible says, increase and multiply. And that same Bible says, he that does wrong to you, you shall forgive him. Not them forgiving you. Rather, you shall forgive them. Today, <clears throat> Obama came to his father's, his father's continent. Obama did not come with Holy Bible. Obama did not come with bag of money to rescue his father's land. Rather, Obama came with portfolio of homosexualism and lesbianism. To reduce the population of Africa, all these things are planned and cooked. We, living in abroad, resisted when they tried to put um, 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 sanctions on black African countries that tried to block homosexualism and, uh, and, uh, and uh, lesbianism. We voted against it. We fought because we have the right to choose what we believe upon. We have culture, we have identity. We don't mess around. This homosexualism is the practice of Arab people. The Arab people, all of them are homosexual because they will tell you they are having sex with women, single ladies. It's a lie. They have sex in anus. They have sex in anus. Somebody who have sex in anus, what is different from woman's anus and mass anus is the same thing. Sodom and Gomorrah didn't happen in Africa. Sodom and Gomorrah is an Arab nation. We are special people. We never ever practice wrong thing to, to destroy the holiness in us. Africa, we, black man, is holy. Do you know that? That's why our grandfathers, they said during their time, if their wives are having their messes, they are not allowed to prepare food for the elderly men to eat. If you know that you have um, the, your, um, 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 what they call it again, messes, um, 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 your time 
when the woman see their blood. Any woman that sees, that, that's why our forefathers married two, three, four, five, six, seven wives. It's among that. Because when one woman starts seeing her blood, she's not allowed to cook for, for the elderly man, the man in the house, because of holiness. Because of holiness. Do you know that? Has somebody taught you that? Maybe you don't know that it's our culture. The second woman will start cooking. And when, starts, when she starts seeing her blood, another one will take over. That's why we have many wives. It is in our culture. And they never kill each other. They never eat each other. White people, two women can't stay in one house. They will kill the husband and kill themselves. It's not our culture. We have our own. Let us be our brother's keeper. Jesus Christ did not come to Africa. During the time of Jesus with the Arab people, they never know us. They may claim Ethiopia, Ethiopia, tell you stories about whatever, whatever. All is manipulation. The only supreme God is the gods of the gods of our ancestors. The gods that you dare not tamper. See, today, today is 2019. You dare not tamper with the gods of our forefathers. But you can go to Roman Catholic on top of altar. Reverend Father will pregnant a woman and nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. But you can't do it in the front of the oracle of our forefathers. The thunder and will strike you under one second to tell you it's I am that I am. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you all. Please love one another. I love you. I love you. I see you as myself. Look, my people, here in Germany, I do fight for my people. I don't look whether you are white, black, or brown. That's why when any information comes out, I give it out. Other tribes of Africa will do it in their dialect so that others will not learn or get notice of it. Forgotten that nobody is holding the talent of the other one. Everybody holds his own. God bless you. God bless you, my people. I love you with passion. I, I, in short, eh? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know. If, if, even as I am today, if you allow me, it's in my family. My family, let me tell you something about my family. Do you know why I love my family so much? <laughs> God bless you, my brother. It's in my family that you will find a woman from Cameroon. It's in my family you will find a woman from Libreville, Gabon. We call ourselves multicultural family. And in my family, through me, something else may appear. You know, to tell you we are one. We are one. And Cameroon woman, Gabonese woman, Igbo woman, they sit down in one kitchen. They prepare food for their husbands with love and kindness. And we eat it, we laugh, we drink, we joke. My mother, she's late now. She speaks Bayangi. She speaks Mfang. She speaks Bulu. She speaks um, a lot of African language before she dies. She speaks almost eight African languages. Perfect! My mom. Yes. She communicates in any part. She haven't visited there before. If she comes to you, under three hours, she will talk with you with your mother tongue. Like me today, I do understand some African languages. The rhythm gives me the meaning. And if I ask you, they say, how do you know about that? It's in me. We are one. We are one, my people. Don't allow these white people to keep on poisoning our mind against each other. We are not different. That's why I would love to have other African people on this, on this program. Come and tell us your own part of the story. Come and talk to your people through this platform. I'm still looking for people. In some, maybe some weeks, my office will be ready and perfect. I'll be able to connect from A to B from any part. You don't need to travel out from your territory. I will connect you to talk to people 
I will connect whoever they will talk to each other in this platform. It's possible. Yes. Because we should start spreading the news. Maybe somebody from Bulu, someone from Igala, somebody from um, um, Loseto, somebody from any part of Africa. Use your mother tongue. Don't use English. I would love you to use your mother tongue. Are you from Kenya? Use your mother tongue. Talk to your people. Tell them, we are one. One people. We are one. One family. Because if all of you start talking with your mother tongue on this program, telling Africans, unite. Imagine an African that was dumped in Jamaica, but Mali, till he dies, he keep on crying. Africa, unite. Africa, unite. Unite. Be one. Maybe our politicians are protecting the interests of their colonial masters. But we, the people, we have the right to open the borders. How many are they going to kill? They will not wipe us out. They need us more than we need them. We can open the borders. We can make ourselves one. We can show love with one another. If African people living in Germany within my city are here, call me. Let us sit down one place. Video ourselves. Have joy on the weekend after work. We can do that. We, we do barbecue. We show them we are one and we love each other. Mwah, 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 mwah. God bless you. Bye-bye. Like this video. Share it. Subscribe and be part of the making.